Welcome to Zul Frock. Alright, so I'm taking a small break from leveling my shaman to come here to the Zul Frock so that I can pick up a couple of large radiant shards. The reason I'm doing this is because uh, I found out that this, my main Twinkles, uh, she has an enchant for haste for gloves which does not have a level requirement. So the, re so the re reagents, or the uh, materials to make this enchantment are two large radiant shards and two wild vine. So the first thing I did, as, as any self-respecting AD would do, is I checked the, uh, the auction house and uh, I discovered much to my displeasure that the current auction house prices for wild vine and large radiant shards are well over 500% of market value. Obviously people are taking advantage of tweaks or leveling tunes or whatever. But um they are oh son of a bitch. Alright, so anyway the point is uh I needed to farm a couple of large radiant shards. I have three right now. I wanted to get a fourth uh you know just for good keeping. Um that's not gonna end well right there. Well, the point of this recording this was to show how quick it was for somebody like me, who is an enchanter. Look at this, this is re freaking retarded. Uh, these mobs have no sense of mortality. They're gonna die. They're all gonna die. I don't see what the freaking point is here. Uh, oh, look, that comes, that's gonna die, and that's gonna die, and that's gonna die, and that's gonna die, that's gonna die, that's gonna die. I'm to do hellfire and I'll probably just cut this part out. So anyway, the point of this video was to show how easy it's supposed to be to just come into Zulfarak, beat up Godzilla, and uh, get a large radiant shard. Which, the prices of which flux, you know, they're earning between 19 gold and like 58 gold per shard on my realm, which is just, just retarded. Absolutely retarded. All right, so here we are. Um, now this is my this is my third run into it. I'm in the middle of my fourth run, excuse me, and I made 11 gold from the door to here, and and this is the uh, this is going to be the end of my fourth run, which is actually pretty good. I'm only going to be charged about three gold in repairs. You're going down, sucker. And now when I got Garzilla first um, spawns. He's invulnerable, just for a few seconds while he's showing up and all that stuff. If you target him, you'll see that his number, right here, is yellow. Uh, while he's invulnerable. Oh, look, got the scale armor again. Oh, my inventory is full. That is funny. I'll drop a gray out, drop that in, yes. That is retarded. And then we're going to disenchant scale armor that Godzilla gave me and that's it fourth radiant shard and uh, and that's it if you're kinda careful coming in and you try to actually avoid mobs which for something like this what that's the point you want to avoid the mobs even though you can kill them they really don't pose much of a threat unless they hex you which they do sometimes even at level 80 I'm not PvP or geared though I don't have anyway so you try to avoid the mobs because the point is to get in and out as quickly as possible and that way you can really justify the, the time it takes to get down to this godforsaken part of the world I know that this is thrilling entertainment come on what are you doing what's going on here there we go Anyway, I'm wasting time here. Just got to get out as quickly as possible. I've avoided all those mobs. I haven't. I've killed two people so far, and uh, one of the many bosses. I'm pretty sure that's the that's the death hole thus far. And I can avoid these guys if I'm careful. I've aggroed them in the past, but at this point, I can usually even if I aggro them, I can usually get away quick enough. And there we go. Got away scot free. Don't have to waste time killing them. And they don't want to die anyway. And there we are. 